quite often people of colour have to put themselves in really vulnerable places to put their stories on stage or to play their stories on stage. I've definitely worked on shows where my actors have had a really tough time in their roles because they're so close to their personal lives. And although that show has done brilliantly well and audiences come out absolutely loving it, I often think like, is it right that my actors had to go through that period of difficulty? Is it truly, really worth our com my community, our community, people of colour, really digging deep inside themselves and putting the, that vulnerability, that huge vulnerability on stage so that someone else can tick a box. And I think I have to say yes. If we change one person's mind or educate one person, it's worth it. That's why it's important to bring work outside of kind of London or wherever it might be perceived as diverse to other places um, because everyone needs to see work that is that that is about other communities and cultures that aren't theirs because I've grown up seeing work that wasn't about me for years and it's given me um, a greater understanding of just other cultures. Nouveau Riche took a show to Edinburgh Fringe this year in August, um, a brilliant show with a brilliant team and a brilliant company but we had a really difficult time. It's not accessible for us as people of colour to be there and feel safe to be there and create vulnerable work. What Edinburgh Fringe needs to do is go, okay, well, how are you going to get different shows from different walks of life that is eventually going to bring audiences up uh, from around the country and from around the world to come and see these shows? So that's what Edinburgh needs to do. It needs to be more inviting and it needs to be more accommodating to, um, to people that don't usually come here because a festival of that magnitude deserves to look differently. It deserves to look like our society does. Especially as a producer, you have to tell your team that, you know, if this gets too much for you, you need to tell me. Or if you are having a difficult time and if you, you feel like you're in too much of a vulnerable place, this is the person you can talk to who is a trained professional, or please come and tell me and we will bring those people into the room. There is far enough and too far and quite often I find that that line isn't clearly drawn and it's not clearly told and spoken about and that's when it becomes detrimental and that's when it becomes too much. It, it's really important to have a creative team around you that shares your lived experience. And I, and I don't think that's a hard and fast rule. So when I'm directing things, I mean, sometimes I get to pick my creative team and sometimes I don't, depending on where I'm working. The times when I have felt the most fulfilled as a creative, I think have been when I have been around um, people that look like me, sound like me, are from a similar life experience to me. It takes away that extra layer of double guessing yourself, of thinking, am I saying the right thing right now? Am I presenting myself in the correct way? Am I lesser than because X, Y, Z, you know, grew up in a townhouse or whatever and I grew up in a council flat, those kind of things. Um, so yeah, it's really important. But I mean, ultimately it's about the story that you're trying to tell. So from a director's perspective, when you're interviewing someone, it's about saying, being really authentic. This is who I am. This is how I like to work in the room. This is what I see this story as. And just seeing if they are able to reciprocate that. If everyone understands what we're trying to do with a piece of work or a project without it needing to be, to be explained, I think that saves a lot of time, a lot of energy. I know that for me, it created safety when I was developing my one-man piece and Elwa Dina directed that and just having you know someone that understood the black lived experience in the room just made it incredibly open freeing I could express myself I was unapologetic and we could make discoveries in the rehearsal room feeling safe to do so that we could then bring to the stage and I think that was an important part of how the work developed and shaped over time.